Watch out, everyone. It's Fiesta Wear. Hi, everyone. Rad Guy here. I wanted to get on today and talk about a news story that showed up on my feed today that was about an individual bringing a small piece of what's called Fiesta Wear into a high school and actually ended up having hazmat come in response to it. Now, Fiesta Wear is uh, a ceramic pottery that is made up of several different colors. This one here specifically is uh, Fiesta Red or Fiesta Orange. Uh, it's kind of a red-orange color. Uh, I, I, I'd say it's more of a orange color. But uh, this one specifically has uranium in it. And it's a small amount of uranium. One one plate of Fiesta Ware uh, that had the uranium in it would have just a few grams of uranium. And uh, the reason why it has it is to actually give it this nice orange color. So I'd like to get into the story a little bit. And... The, the person brought it in uh, into this high school uh, in New Jersey, into uh, Camden County was, was the name of the county. And uh, it was just a small piece, so it must have been broken off of a plate. And the, the news stories that I've seen said that it was encased in, in plastic just to make sure nothing got out. And the individual would use it with their Geiger counter to kind of show that response to it for, for calibration purposes. And what ended up happening is somebody caught wind of it that uh, had a overreaction. And they, what they ended up doing was actually evacuating the school. So all of the kids ended up having to leave their classrooms really quickly and stand out in the January school or January cold of New Jersey for 30 to 40 minutes uh, because of a hazardous substance in the school. What's interesting is the individual who brought that piece in had no idea that the that little piece of uranium was the reason why the school was ended up was being evacuated and uh what's interesting is the later that day according to an article that i read the police actually came knocking to their door and uh one of the tweets that i, I i'm going to read it here that i that i saw uh, coming from uh, Camden County prosecutor was detectives are investigating the possible presence of a hazardous substance at Camden County High School. Now, this, I would say, is absolutely an overreaction to what happened today. Um, there was no reason to call a hazmat team for such a uh, incident happening at this school and i'm going to show you why that is now your uh the amount of uh, uranium that's in here like i mentioned is is quite low and the toxicity from this uranium is also quite low uh and what's interesting is the the heavy metal part of uranium is actually uh, worse when it comes to toxicity than the radioactivity part. I think most people often think uranium, oh no, must be radioactive. Well, uranium is almost not radioactive. It has such a long half-life, half-life that's uh, the age of the earth, really. it's That's the reason why we have uranium anymore in the environment. Uh, but because it's around so long, it shows that it, it doesn't decay very much. You could have a lot of uranium and it's not going to be very radioactive. And let's see, I don't want this to get too soggy. So the Health Physics Society has a really good page on this. I'll put links in the description. But uh, the hazard from even eating from uranium or not uranium glass fiesta wear really isn't that big of a deal and uh, there isn't much uranium that will get out of the ceramic it's pretty stable in there and you could even eat highly acidic 
foods out of here, and it really wouldn't be a big issue. Now, and this this comes from a lot of studies that have been done on it about how much uranium would come out of the Fiesta wear and uh, how much of a dose you're going to get from handling it, from putting it up to your lips every day. And it's been determined that the dose you would get from uh, the Fiesta wear using it every single day for an entire year, that dose would be negligible, or at least the effects from that dose would be negligible. And this really shows how how poor of a response uh, that really was. And that's actually this this response that happened is one of the reasons why I decided to start this YouTube channel in the first place. And it really is the lack of understanding when it comes to radioactivity and nuclear power as well. I really wanted to start kind of I want to start addressing those things in this YouTube channel. And uh, I'll probably be talking about Fiesta Wear in the future. It's not just Fiesta Wear, by the way. If you see other um, items that have this color on it, it's it's likely or it might be that it has uranium in it, if, especially if it's an antique uh, from the 1930s uh, is when Fiesta Wear was at least using it. Some other brands were using it as well. Uh, during the war effort, they stopped the, this specific color, Fiesta Wear stopped using this color. Then later on in the 50s, late 50s, they started using depleted uranium because the war effort took all that uranium-235, which is the stuff that you want to make bombs with, and what they had left over was uranium-238, which is depleted uranium, which is even less radioactive. Um, and they, they did that into the 1970s. But... Uh, I'll probably be talking about that more in the future. I just wanted to do that quick story for you, give you a little bit of context, uh, tell you a little, a little bit about it. Uh, a lot of the news stories that I've seen uh, have actually not been too bad. One of them didn't give too much context, didn't talk about the fact that it's, it is safe. Uh, another one that I saw, they actually did talk to Smith, the Smithsonian Magazine and were informed about how it was not a hazard uh, to the people at that school. So uh, if you like what you heard, please leave me a like, uh, give me a subscribe, and uh, you'll hear more from me later. Thanks.